Have you ever heard anyone say that co-signing a mortgage is bad? Well, let me just first say that it can be a good thing. The benefit of having a co-signer is it gets you approved for the mortgage. It brings the additional income you need because you don't quite qualify for the amount you're trying to get approved for. And so bringing that co-signer in brings that additional income that will help you to get approved. But there are a lot of negative things when it comes to having a cosigner on your mortgage. So I want to talk to you in this perspective, A, of the borrower, the person trying to buy the house, and then B, is the person who's doing the cosigning. So first, yes, if you're, if you're asking a cosigner uh, to come onto the mortgage with you to help you get approved, it's likely going to be someone that's close to you because a stranger obviously is not going to do it. So you're talking about a, likely a relative. And that can be a good thing. But the but usually this means that you know they don't have owner a cosigner means they don't have ownership in the house. But they're liable for your payment. And one day they might come to you and say, you know, I need to get off this mortgage of yours because I'm trying to qualify for my own mortgage and I can't because your mortgage is in the way and it's making me not qualify because I've got this big payment here that's preventing me, my DTI is too high when I'm trying to go for my mortgage. So now, maybe you bought your house a year ago, two years ago, whatever it is, now you have a situation. You need to get this cosigner off of the mortgage. And now, now maybe you still don't qualify for the mortgage on your own, and now you've got a bigger problem. You already own the house, what are you going to do? So if you are gonna get a cosigner, you, as, the, as the buyer of the home, you really need to have an exit strategy over the next couple of years to refinance because that's the only way you're going to be able to get this cosigner off of the mortgage is to refinance. So your situation that required you to get the cosigner had better be temporary or you have a plan in place to fix it. Now, if you are the cosigner, uh, this is where there are more negatives for you than positives. The positive, you're helping out a friend or a relative and it's a good thing and it makes you feel good and they'll probably thank you for it. However, you've got their mortgage now on your credit report. Every single month, your credit is kind of tied to their ability to make on-time mortgage payments. So that's the first thing, is that your credit scores now are dependent upon you know their their uh, payment history right next like I just mentioned your ability to get a mortgage of your own could be negatively impacted because now you've already got a mortgage on your credit report and that has to be factored in when applying for your mortgage it's another liability it's on the liability side it, it negatively impacts your DTI calculation so you have to go into this knowing that that's going to be there and that it's going to prevent you potentially for, from getting your own mortgage down the road or some other type of credit you may be applying for. Okay, But the, the biggest thing aside from that is the fact that your credit scores and your credit history is going to be tied to this. And then if for some reason you need to go and apply for your own mortgage and you approach this other individual who you co-sign for and say, look, I, I need to get out of this, this mortgage with you. They, they might not be able to do it that quickly and now you're kind of stuck. So it's not that I'm trying to discourage co-signing, but I do think that that should be something that's done um, when all else has failed, when there are no other options and again, even if you're the co-signer, you know how I mentioned earlier that someone who, the, who's buying the home should have an exit strategy for, uh, for the co-signer, you need to make sure there is one too as the co-signer. You need to make sure that there is a plan. You put something in place. You tell this person you're co-signing for, okay, I'll do this for you, but in, in a year or two years maximum, you need to refinance to get me off this mortgage. Um, and... Uh, because that, because like I said, it's going to tie you up as well. If you have any questions about co-signing, 
or the the potential dangers of co-signing and the pluses and minuses of it just uh, leave a comment down below let everyone else join in the discussion if you've had a situation where you were the co-signer and kind of got screwed over over the course of time because of the person you co-signed for wasn't making the payments and now your your credit's wrecked by the way if you have late mortgage payments on your credit report and you would try to apply for another mortgage that could actually prevent you from getting a mortgage completely so just thought I'd bring that up as well again put your comments down below I'll respond let everybody else respond let's see what kind of uh, discussion we can have on it thanks again for watching we'll see you next time